We go back to ringside. The main event about to get underway. The lights go out. And the theme song hits the PA system. Good to play. And the Combat League president, Ric Flair, comes strutting out in a referee official suit. And he's in a referee outfit. He's got the zebra stripes. He's got the headset in. And he waves to the crowd, slaps fives with them, and gets in the ring. Bullet Club are definitely hills. Yes. When Ric Flair gets in the ring, it is officially time to start the main event. The trial by combat. And Eddie Kingston, let's just pretend Kingston comes out with the chain. My Eddie Kingston has a steel chain! And it's perfectly legal! In this trial by combat! Man, and like Ric Flair said, this match, oops, this match not for the faint of heart. Kingston with the steel chain. Predictions are up. My bad, y'all. And this man right here, he and Punk, man, their hatred for each other, it goes back a long way, spilling over to Combat League. This theme song always cracks me up for CM Punk. And CM Punk! Ready for a fight tonight! Ah, uh, get those pancakes on the line! And this is a trial by combat match, man. Every trial by combat we've had in this company has been violent. And Ric Flair said he spoke with both men earlier tonight, and there's only one thing on their mind, and that's beating the hell out of each other. This is going to be something else. Kingston pacing around with a chain. I wish you could do special referee matches in WWE. Dude, I know we've gone through. I we've gone through so many CM Punk attires. But I want it, to me, I, wa I want it to get the shorts attire, but this feels like a nice little trial by combat attire, so it works. And look at Ric Flair, man, Ric Flair. He's not expecting these men to shake hands. Ric Flair said he is only there to count the pin or stop the match. And he signals the bell, and here we go. Big chops from Puck. Both men charging at each other. Center of the ring, and Puck off the ropes. Springboard. And these two can take this fight anywhere. Big kicks across the forehead. And Puck looking under the ring. Takes and dropping the chain. Puck's got a tear. Already starting. Now Puck drops the chair. And Hurricanrata. Chop note, Kingston blocks. And, oh my God, Aranagi on the ball on the outside of the Aranagi. No, you're challenging next stream. We're not going to do Hook and KJ Cast for a couple of streams. Big chop from Kingston, right hand. No, Punk blocks. Kick to the midsection. Goes high with the roundhouse kick. Punk tosses Kingston back into the ring. Oh, and he's got that still chair. Look at Flair. Flair saying it's legal. No, Kingston just jumping on top. Of CM Punk and my God, it's a Gary from the from the rope. Did you just see Kingston jump on Punk and there's a choke? Red right, looking at Flair, Flair looking at this choke, observing he's gonna take CM Punk out. No, Punk counters, drops him, drops the jaw right on the skull. And the Punk against the ropes here and oh, he's got the chair. No. Takes it off the ropes, knocks the chair out of Punk's hands. Kingston goes low and nope, collide into each other. Sent into the corner. I gotta change that. It's not, no, and Punk cracks 
takes it over the head. I gotta change it. Yeah, we're not doing hook and uh, we're not doing hook and KJ Cass on uh, Thursday. Exploder suplex. And Punk just dropped over that top turnbuckle and now Kingston. It's gonna take a lot more than that. Kingston looking for an early finish. But I don't think he's gonna get it just yet. Punk hits that snap suplex. And there it oh and look at the sharpshooter locked in! Panel lost to Bret Hart! We have Bret Hart in it! Calgary Stampede, but Hulk wants to start it early. Hanks encounters. Dragon screw from Kingston. And now goes to work on the knee. And another springboard that row that right hand rocking Punk. And now Kingston has that chair. Kingston has the chair now. Punk's got to be careful. No, Punk takes it from him. No, slaps him in the face. Just shoves the chair in his face. Springboard drop kick takes Kingston off his feet. Punk chair in. Oh, cracks Kingston with another chair shot. And Punk just getting dropped over that top rope. Kingston trying to use the chair, but Punk not allowing it. And Aranagi on the chair from Punk! Now Punk middle rope! Elbow from Kingston taking Punk off his feet. And Kawada kicks across the forehead. Beautiful neck breaker from Eddie Kingston. The missile drop kick from Kingston. Man, he's just putting all of his weight into those, that all of his momentum into that offense. All right, former man, be good, brother. Pleasure as always, man. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for showing some love. Punk to the outside. Oh, and it might get Kingston just slapped the chair. He just slapped the chair. Gets him with the counter. Punk, nope. Kings and both men just beating the hell out of each other on the outside now. In front of the timekeepers. Table that table destroyed earlier by Marcus Sanders and Barry Barnes. Big chop from Kingston. Kick to the gut. DDT just dropped Punk on the chair. My God, did you hear the chair? That impact from that DDT. And what's Kingston got planned here? No, no, no. No, face first. The hell being Kingston just beating the hell out of CM Punk and Flair just taking it all in. As we said, as Ric Flair said, his only involvement in this match is to end it. Time to go for a ride. Hey, Exploder suplex from Kingston on the outside. And another dragon screw, man. Kingston's aggressive. Kingston, very aggressive here. And that actually sent Eddie Kingston into the into the barricade. And Punk gets the chair knocked out of his hands. Kicks to the side of the leg and those high kicks. Now Punk has the back. Poison. Poison run a spike and Kingston on the outside. My God. What's it gonna take to end this? Oh, and Punk kicks it up. It's a go to the side of the head. He might have knocked out Punk. He thinks he has it here, goes for the pin. And Punk showed her up. Spinning back fist. And 
Punk again. Schroeder up. Punk not moving, even though he just got in with that spinning back fist, not moving, and Kicks has got a chair. My God, he cracks the chair over the back. Now working on the leg. Oh, and a lariat from Punk. The chair crashing into Kingston. Kingston butts it open. Big combinations for Punk. Hurricane Rana. And now Punk picking up the chair again. Enough with the chair, I say. Enough. Oh, it's just neck breaker. He must have seen that coming. Right hand from Kingston, man. That just, that right hand, that was stiff. That was stiff. He might have knocked Punk out with that. Damn, that was shorter than I thought. So here's actually how I want this match to end. This match is bloody. They're fighting all around ringside. They are beating the hell out of each other. And they get back into the ring after having fought all over the arena. Punk hitting Kingston with the right. Kingston hitting Punk with the right. Both men trading blows. Both men have blood all over their faces. He, uh, Punk hits Kingston with one more right. And Kingston responds in kindness with a spinning back fist. And the spinning back fist rocks Punk. And he staggers into the ropes. And he comes staggering back. And Kingston hits him with another spinning back fist. And Punk again staggers to the ropes. And Kingston kneels down. And he picks up the steel chain. He cannot believe Punk is still standing. And when Punk staggers back toward him, he hits him with a third spinning back fist with the steel chain wrapped around his fist. And Punk crumples to the ground. And referee Ric Flair holds Eddie Kingston back. And he singles for the bell. And he ends the match by knockout. Kingston has knocked out CM Punk to win the trial by combat. And the match ends with Kingston's theme song hitting the PA system. He's got blood all over his face. He struggles to get to his feet. The referees try to help him up. He fights. He pushes the referees off. And he, and he staggers and limps up the ramp. Eddie Kingston might have won the trial by combat. But at what cost has he won it? And that is the end of our show tonight, folks. That is the end of Combat League 119. I'm going to go over the card for Combat League 120 one more time. We got six matches on the docket. Olivier Pierre defending the Combat League Digital Valkyrie Championship against Jade Cargill. Juice Robinson and Alex Hammerstone of Bullet Club Most Wanted taking on Psycho Clown and Pinta L0M of Legato World Order in the second round of the Rock and Roll Forever. We have Wesley taking on the Hurt Business's Barry Barnes. We have a tag team match. Indy Hartwell and Alundra Blaze taking on Lita and EO Sky. We have Montez Ford taking on Kenny Adams. And we have the debuts of Emily Bune and Akira Mackey. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching Combat League 119. I'm Bad Guy Maddox. Have a great night. Well, guys, that is the end of our stream for the night. I will see you guys Thursday night. Um, I had a blast. I thought this was a pretty good show. I love the finish. It's good to see Eddie Kingston pick up a win tonight. Um, well, guys, I guess I will see you guys Thursday. Everybody, thank you for watching the Bad Guy Maddox, which is the Bad Guy Maddox Twitch TV channel. I am Twitch's number one bad guy. You guys are the Bad Guy Club, the baddest club on Twitch TV. Remember to stay bad because being bad is fun. I will see you guys in Discord. Um, so take care, guys. Bye.